Barn is actually insane in the new game mode for the workshop of Brilliant Light. He has been out for about a week now, and he has been kicking my butt. So that being said, throughout all of my tests, I did come up with several hunters and tips that I can give you guys to make it easier for you so you don't have some of the same difficulties that I did. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Also, make sure that you guys do support me through the creator program. That is a huge, huge benefit to everyone involved, myself obviously included, but I'm able to give you guys a ton of awesome rewards. If you aren't already, now is the perfect time, especially if you're not supporting anyone in general. Definitely make sure you support through the creator program linked down below in the description. Fun fact about that, the cool thing is that there's a new event, the Marble X airdrop event. So basically how this works is there's a pool of rewards available for everyone that participates through the link down below in the description. You can find this there and everyone is going to get the opportunity to win some amazing Marble X and that's going to be just awesome. So you guys can put that back towards the game and be able to get some awesome stuff. So do make sure you support. And if you're a content creator like me watching the video, you can also promote this and participate as well. So make sure you're doing that. And I'll be continuing to support this and promote this as much as I can going forward. All right, back to Baron. Let's go. How many of you guys have beat normal Baron Demon King Castle? And let me know in the comments down below, because I can tell you right now, I'm going to offer you guys some tips. The normal, the easy difficulty is really easy in my opinion. So I kind of low key have to do this just to get the codes to give you guys. So make sure you do support by the way. Um, but I want to give you guys some tips, but I'll tell you, I can't clear the entirety of normal because it requires a very specific set of things. So I'm going to give you guys tips, but I will also be telling you what you guys should be building and looking forward to building or summoning in the future to make it easier for you to clear that workshop because it's definitely interesting. I've got to say on a side note, I really liked the design of this workshop. It's not too hard. Like overall, there's there's just a lot of hacks in there where they're doing new mechanics like those circles on the floor. Uh, the bosses are doing different things like Baron is doing that lightning wall stuff like it's it's pretty interesting. I like it a lot uh, where Vulcan had some of that, but the other guys pretty much didn't really have stuff like that. I, I guess there was a gimmick with Cerberus where he'd do that circle fire ray thing that he does at the end when he's almost defeated. But I do like this and this mode is extremely important because the cores are here and by the way, They've only got a couple of types of cores in this one. They don't have the, the square core on, on this one. So you've got to actually eventually work your way over here. And I don't know that easy drops these. I don't, I, I guess it does. I have had very bad luck with those farming mainly easy. So anyway, this is pretty tedious because it requires a very specific setup and the specific setup you need is the dark hunters in my opinion. So you can clear this. I've seen videos of people doing it. And I myself have had relative success with the wind team, with Han Semi, with uh, Mireille, with uh, Wu Jinchul. They can they can kind of push through this, but the problem is is that they they mainly Mireille she gets blown to smithereens if she gets hit. So you've got to be playing nearly perfect and never getting hit, right? And so that's the main thing. So for a lot of people, unless you're incredibly good at the game, which if you are, kudos that's really hard to do right but the thing is this was clearly designed with harper and charlotte in mind and maybe even i think their mentor i haven't read their story but i think their mentor is the other dark hunter that's going to be on this team long term was clearly made with them in mind for example charlotte easily the best character for this entire mode because of just the way she interacts with literally everything in here whether it's the first fight metis where he drops that little circles around she's able to Fill those circles up super fast. The other hunters can do it. Yes, you'll have to repeatedly use dashes in which Wu Jinchul is the next best one because he can get you that extra dash. Um, But it's just overall, her spamming, she's able to control when she's getting an ultimate. She's able to use ultimates at a rate that other hunters aren't. If she's got that first advancement, that is mandatory, by the way. The first advancement is literally mandatory. Um, And then Harper, just crazy utility. So she's going to be breaking. She's the best breaker, one of the best breakers in the entire game. She's going to be breaking the boss. She's got type advantage. Uh, she obviously has the bonus support from the greed set. She's got the pork chopped going on her ultimate. And I think her weapon also increased the damage of Harper as well, or Charlotte as well. So like, yeah. So the third character is kind of a weird one because you can you can plug in uh, Libora. She's nice for the support that she has. I think you'd need a pretty advanced Libora to really 
have the best usefulness out of that unless unless she's kind of like reasonably built like mine is and then you've got the other two girls really advanced pretty highly uh same deal goes for min he's the third that you can plug in there i think you need a lot of investments into min to really really get the most out of him there same goes for silver main like whoever you put in that third spot they're either going to be a support character or somebody that you have advanced pretty highly because the thing is that you need to also be when you're taking on this fight you can't be in the red you just lose i'm not saying it's impossible to clear it you just lose too much damage right you need to at least be in the white and uh the closer the better right so that's more or less how it looks and so with this setup i'll tell you this team at these levels on this stage they they weren't able to clear it for me it doesn't matter what i shift around they're just simply not advanced enough and so a lot of people are going to hit a similar wall now if i were to switch over to my wind team and this uh do they still have their stuff on i took off the set from hans and me i think i shifted some of this around um i'm a mia so while she gets blown up she does do crazy damage and so her damage is able to uh if you play good enough get you pretty close it's just again very very specific you've got to play very well so i think this setup works great uh you can do burning greed burning uh blessing burning burning curse uh by the way i like to do four curse and then expert on the right side i've taken these pieces off to try to shift them around on other guys ignore the woo set i was testing something um i typically like to do expert and curse you could go full eight if you wanted to do that for curse that works too but yeah i've experienced the difficulty with that so that's more or less the hunters you can look towards now there are a couple of and we'll talk about Janu as well some weapons but one more thing really quick if you guys are not supporting make sure you support because now is the best time to do so i've probably already explained it but there is that new creator m plus program in which we are trying to get as many as possible we're looking towards getting 15 supporters a very low number all you've got to do is click the support two down below in the description support one is for the normal one which i'd like to get more there too but support two i'd greatly appreciate it if the video is helpful so in terms of other wind slash dark hunters um park is actually pretty or kim excuse me is pretty good here because of the break he's got a strong break just doesn't really do much damage for you unfortunately got a heavy break which is actually low-key one of the stronger ones in the entire game on a on a support slash qte um so there's that he's also got just a ton of utility with the break down here as well break effectiveness going up so you can you can make use of him he's okay i don't typically use him outside of when he's supporting janu but as a heavy breaking support that's again not well it's a little bit more common now see even medium here like it's there's a paralyze there medium here i imagine medium is the standard so just an example of what he's useful for medium is the standard so uh that being said yeah you can use him if you need him for janu support to help you break some of the content and i i think that when you're going through this you can use a bunch of different things so i'll kind of show you um how things look for me and which ones to really kind of pinpoint so on this first stage i've already kind of told you i think the dark team so like they're gonna blitz this team on this difficulty is gonna blitz this and again harper and charlotte mandate are, are made for this stage this this content is made with these characters in mind and it's not just this stage all the stages literally all of them <laughs> they they have they work well with the gimmicks on all the stages. so yeah and then some fights like even like against the the dragon right or kaisel and baron where it's like you just gotta move fast <laughs> just like in the encore mission where she just is just insanely strong there but i will actually pause it we'll shift actually let's just go in i was gonna say we'll shift back to my win team because i do if your characters your dark characters are equivalent to mine that you would you just be better off if your wind hunters anyway are equivalent to mine you'd be better off using your wind team in my opinion all right, so bear in mind, I will be a little bit more sloppy as I play it live here. <laughs> but I don't really care much about too much here because he's not going to be able to kill me unless just things go incredibly poorly. Just because we've got such a big power advantage. So, yeah. Anyway, let's just set this all up. We're actually going to switch to Min here. Actually, no, we, we need to go here and set up the ultimate. And it's also preferred that you do this early so that the cooldown is gone from the second ultimate because you can actually get two ultimates while he's in a break state. So that's pretty useful. All right, let's go to Min now. Don't really care about much. Just want to get his power gauge up. Okay, so now we're pretty much done with Min. Because when he QTEs in again, he'll be set. 
The stun there. Her stun is extremely strong in every single stage you play. Ah, I broke him too fast. I broke him too fast. It's all right. All right. So yeah, I just, I kind of broke him too fast. <laughs> All right, can I get this? No, he went invincible. Yeah, that's why I meant when I said I kind of broke him too fast. It's all right, though. Whatever. Doesn't really matter. But at the same time, I just have a crazy advantage power-wise here. So this is what I mean. Look at this. She just kind of shoots around the map. Dude. Dude. Yeah, she kind of just is able to clear this in a way that no other character really can. They, again, they can they can beat this or do this. They just can't do it as readily, right? That's the thing. All right, so we're going to win here. Gonna get the Harper ultimate. And then go straight here into the ultimate and win. Yep. Oh, never mind. We didn't win yet. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. He's got, he goes a second time. My bad. My bad. <laughs> it's all right. We're right back. This is kind of just stalling because he's not going to, to win. <laughs> um, But yeah. They, they just they just kind of clear it so not really surprising all good all good so okay so we got an ult now and that'll do it or not again <laughs> yeah so harper really makes a difference uh for charlotte just her support also min too but her setting up the damage makes a huge difference Dude, just die. Just 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 die. You're done. Just die. Just please just leave me alone. Just let me just just end it. You're done. You're done. You're done. Bro teleported all the way over there. I'm like, I'm on autopilot right now because he's dead. Like I just <laughs> he's dead. I'm already it's hot. It's already over. <laughs> just let me win. Alright, so that is the first stage. It's but again, for the fifth time, it's not crazy uneasy. It's it's about comparable to like normal workshop uh, Vulcan, probably. It's like normal workshop Vulcan or normal or hard difficulty is probably like in between easy and hard here on the other one. All right, so Isil, we never really talked much about Janu. So Janu, uh, the good news is he's got a lot of options. And so I think this is my favorite setup for supports for him. Like I mentioned, you can use uh, Kim. He's a solid support if you need that. I like using Wu just because he's also a breaker and he's able to give you the, um, he's able to give you the extra dashes. I like that a lot in case you need them. The dashes are really strong in this fight and then the barn fight at the end. So I like Wu a lot there. Um, and then also men just you just plug him in if you, if you just want to have more damage, right? It's pretty self-explanatory. You could plug in anyone else here though if you wanted to do like literally anybody else So it's up to you But you do want to have the breakers and so he also has a few options in terms of weapons uh, So what he can do is he can go west wind plum. He can go moon shadow plum I don't really like the scythe much in any of these pieces of content he could go um, with double wind weapons. If you've got the the the, the um, daggers or the the sword built up, you can go. If you've got if you've got the sword, I think at a three or above, or the daggers at a three and above, you can use those instead of west wind. I think that's the numbers that the community tested out. So you have a lot of options with that too. But west wind uh, at a five anyway, below a five, it's good. But yeah. At, at A5, you really are able to kind of clear this pretty easily with Westwind. So the main thing with this is just um, make sure you don't lose your Westwind stacks and you'll be all right. So because I struggle to beat the other fight on normal difficulty with my win team, I get I get literally to the end where the boss has like three lives and I'm timing out. So I just need I just need a little bit more power. Like if I get that fifth dupe on Mirei, I'm sure I'll clear it pretty easily. Uh, because that's the case, I haven't had the pleasure of fighting her on that difficulty and seeing how things look. But look at the stun here. The stun is extremely strong. So keep that in mind. But yeah, so since I haven't had that pleasure, I can't really tell you too much about that fight. But this fight, it kind of just goes very smoothly, just like the previous one. The only thing to really look out for, like I said, is losing your stacks for Westwind. And then when she does this, it can get a little bit annoying. So... Uh, not this part. This one's really easy, too. This is her little gimmick. You you can kind of just use the uh, shadow step to get across really fast, I found. But don't waste it because you only get one, of course. You can't abuse Harper 
or Harp, or Charlotte, whichever, the blue haired one. I always forget. You can't abuse her effect here because she's obviously not playable, but it would be nice if you could. All right. <laughs> she's done. <laughs> she's done. <laughs> I'll talk about skills in a bit too because I, I like several skills for this stage actually. All right. This is her other gimmick. She's going to drop a bunch of lightning arrows. These are pretty easy to ignore, right? And she came down, did electric shock. No. That's one of the main things for this content is there's a lot of electric shock, which is kind of annoying actually, because it is damage over time. That, by the way, the, the stun there is also super strong with West Wind. So you don't accidentally miss and lose your stacks. Crazy strong with West Wind. Okay, but I had no MP, so. Are you done or? That's fine. I didn't really care about that, but okay. And I'm going to win. <laughs> I got her before she got me. <laughs> so like I, you can, I can almost auto these. I'm not going to lie to you, but you still want to play them because you want to get all this stuff like the dust here. You want, this is amazing. You want to get all that. Um, so you definitely still want to play it. You want to get some cores too, but let's talk about your new skills um, because we didn't really talk much about that. We did talk about weapons and some of the supports, but the skills, uh, long story short, dark and wind, obviously, but you can, you can do different things. You don't have to do what I did and use like double break. I just kind of like standard, like to go, go for that. And we'll also show the blessings. Uh, so this is my standard blessing set. I sometimes will take off daily quest you can take it off and put on reawakening reawakening is super duper good um you can also put on uh this one if you go full element if you've got it higher it's really really strong swiftness is all swift strike excuse me is super strong too but i probably wouldn't use too much else i mean you could if you're playing a difficulty like i am you can kind of just load up on attack based ones and just kind of run through it and not really have much difficulty so keep that in mind but if you do are playing a higher difficulty and you, and you obviously still want to use the offense based stuff but you can do a few different options one of my favorite combos is um chains of blood with daily quests <laughs> it's one of my favorite combos uh so skills i really like this skill it's one of my favorite skills in the whole game because it increases the power gauge three times it doesn't do a great break but three weak break hits i'll take it power gauge up 1.5 each time i'll take it i like that one a lot you can pull all the way back here and grab illusion if you needed to do that i like illusion loki still because it increases Jinu's damage three times it's only nine percent at this level it's probably what 15 percent at the max level but i like this one still despite it being a medium break uh but those are just mainly the break skills the other skills i'd consider uh would be we have this one on you pretty much want to have this one like almost always it's super good but uh yeah the two the two uh magnifying slashes or whatever here the dark one though is the one i particularly would use this one is uh this one's really really strong <laughs> they're both really strong but just depends what you're looking for i really like the flow of the wind as you see i have that one currently equipped but yeah that's more or less it i, I wouldn't really pull towards much else i mean you can get kind of gimmicky and use the dark counter here if you really wanted to do that the stun is strong it's a heavy break uh, you could do some fun stuff like that, but I don't know that you necessarily need to do that So especially because you have Harper already on your team and Harper is a character that I do recommend leaving on no matter what So for this fight you again, you can run through this with the win team, but just uh, Charlotte kind of runs through this easily. It's a lot of the same as the first fight So that is what I would recommend is to use whatever you have built fully and just kind of play through it if that wasn't clear already so the trick with this guy is he's nowhere near as annoying as the actual Kaecilian boss fight, in my opinion. He has a little thing where he absorbs energy at the end and then hits you. Uh, and that doesn't matter to me at all. By the way, I like... Okay, we're going to get it here. My controller's kind of tripping. Uh, I, I like to have uh, Charlotte because she can just close the distance super fast versus this guy. No matter what mode he's in, Kaecilian... She's able to close the distance really quickly. Let's set up the ultimate here. Yeah, okay. Well, okay. Yeah, my controller is like actually acting stupid. It's been doing it all video. I just haven't said anything. Like my characters are running and they're, it's almost like it's got drift, but it doesn't have drift. 
At least it shouldn't have drift. <laughs> I hope we can have no drift, right? Uh, let's go here. This is fine. That's fine. I'm a little bit early. I want to go back to min again, so I'm a little early. This is like all video I've been early, so. Okay, there we go. All right, so we're going to QTE back and get the break. Perfect. And boom, baby. Yeah. So we didn't get the ult from uh, what's her face in between. That's what you would want, but it's all right. This works. Can I be super greedy and still get it, though? <laughs> Can I still? <laughs> super greedy. Damn. <laughs> So he's going to go up and he does a few things. He does the thing where he drops the lightning on you and he does a few things. Uh, so he's going to do this now. Okay, I'm going to just switch back. It doesn't, it kind of like doesn't really matter all that. My controller is not running where I want to run. It's really annoying me. So these, dude, go up. <laughs> what is it doing? <laughs> I'm not even touching it. It must be like low on battery or something. It's hella tripping, bro. That's crazy. I've never seen it act like that. Did I accidentally get drift just now, like live in the video? <laughs> He's doing the bombardment from the top. Okay, this is fine. I could just do this. So whatever. She's just too fast. She's just too fast. Oh, okay, cute. I didn't expect that. It's the same exact problem he, he you know, with him and the other piece of content. So. By the way, if you can, you want to make sure you consistently have the pork chopped. I just haven't been OD about it. So, it, And also, a big thing about Charlotte I didn't really talk about is the pork chopped is crazy strong. Uh, or Harper, excuse me. The pork chopped is crazy strong for the damage of Charlotte here. It's just at a zero, she doesn't do anything more. Because I'm pretty sure she gets like up to like, what, 16 stacks or something like that later on. So that's what I mean when I say, like, this is kind of made for them at high levels. At least the third advancement, I think. And they kind of just run through this. So if you notice on easy, I am not even bothering to get the uh, bonuses here. You can play these. Just quick tip on these. The ones you're really looking for for the blessings are... Or is it going to show me the list? No. You're really looking for crit damage, in my opinion. I like crit damage. Uh, there's... Increase attack is okay, but that's like largely only to new. Unless you're using Mirai, I think it's better with Mirai. Increased damage taken from the enemies is good. Uh, crit hit rate, of course, is good. And I mean, that's largely it. Oh, ultimate damage. Ultimate damage is good too. So those are the ones I typically pinpoint. But yeah, on easy difficulty, I don't actually have to play those. You just kind of can make your way through. So this guy has two stages, kind of. <laughs> you fight him with the sword and then... Uh, Isil pops in and she helps you with him a little bit, but then you fight him with the daggers and his playstyle does change a decent bit in between, obviously, but it's still nothing crazy. All right, so hopefully my controller survives. He starts with that. That's okay. You could, you know, wait to break him, but I'm going to go for the break here because he just doesn't have very many lives, so it's not all that difficult. So I'm going to set up the amplifying as well. I'll get one of these crits, maybe. I got it in, nice. Right before he jumped, by the way. That's how you lose a stack. Not that I had any, but. <laughs> All right, let's go set up here, because we're going to just blow him up. It's going to get blown up right now. As soon as I get this break. And of course, he dodged it. And now he's going to get broken. Harper. Freaking break him. Okay, my dog is barking. <laughs> you guys don't hear it, but it's pretty distracting. <laughs> All right, the boss is emitting electric walls. So this is where he's kind of fun. So if you could use uh, Charlotte here, she would decimate this. My tip is to stay towards the back over here, like this down here. <laughs> don't go too far, as you see. Don't go too far. Don't get too far. <laughs> I've never had that happen. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had that happen. I've never gone that far down. I was just trying to prove a point. <laughs> oh my god, that's too funny. 
Don't go too bad, too far down. So, uh, yeah, my tip, tip is to stay towards the bottom. And that's also why I like Wu, because he's going to get you those dashes back if you need to bring him in and get him back. <laughs> that is so funny. I barely have any dashes here. Ah! <laughs> Woo, my guy! He does two, and then Esau pops up, he does the third. This is the problem with doing the live ones. So she blocks this one. <laughs> Just make sure you're right there. Otherwise, he will hit you for a lot of damage. All right, where's he at? Let's wrap this up. Loki embarrassing, but you know what? It's fine. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, so he's going to go dagger mode now. <laughs> oh, my God. That's funny. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Whatever you say, buddy. And then there's that. They should not have gave me a shadow step. I was not even anywhere near dodging that. I was on the other side, but I'll take it regardless. Did not get a crit. Okay, you can summon your shadows. Make sure you don't step on these little spots too much. But you can summon your shadows at any point. Just have them be targeted instead of you. <laughs> if you feel like you're getting pressured, you can, you can do that in any content. So just make sure that you're using that. He only really goes in a straight line when he's doing that, like, flying around spinning attack he was doing just now. So, <laughs> despite my blunder with the electric wall going too far back, uh, it's not like we're done, but he's not crazy, so nice. I let that one go a little bit early just so he would be in the break state. Not sure if that was worth it or not. Oh, this is when I like to summon the shadows right here because he gets kind of annoying with this. Ah, uh, yeah. I can't believe I made this kind of mistake. Okay. <laughs> that was all because like, I got hit by those stupid walls. <laughs> all right. Second try is the charm. <laughs> yeah, he does. That's when I like to summon the shadows, actually, because he gets a little bit annoying with that. So it's not all that difficult. I say as I lost it, but trust me, we're going to blow him out of the water this time. Yeah, I think I would put, by the way, I think I would put the um, Death Dance Wind on. I don't know why I have Dark on still. Dark is just like damage. I don't really need the damage. So, yeah, I would swap that easily. Or, or if you want to dash, you could put on the Magnifying Slashes or whatever. So, there's that too. I'm like right in one of those puddles. That's hilarious. Okay, here's time for the electric wall. There's been a change in the atmosphere. And keep your distance and dodge. All right, let's do it right this time. <laughs> you barely have to dash in this one. These are big. Uh, stop trying to play. Stop trying to play with me, boy. <laughs> yeah, these ones are big, so we got it. We're good. That was a little easy. Uh, he got out of there before the stun. Okay, so he's going to go two swings and then the top one. One, two, and then Isil pops in for a freaking millisecond. And you got to find her fast. <laughs> she, she pops in for a millisecond, dude. It's hilarious. All right, let's wrap this up, my guy. So there's the first wave. Let's just go quickly to the second one. Dagger boy. Ah, dodged early. Okay, still got it though. Nice. Okay, we've got the ult now, but you know, a little premature, but I will set up everything because I think we're about to break him here. No crit, unfortunately, on the west wind. That hurts. And there's the break. You're an unworthy opponent. There's been a change in the atmosphere. Ah, ah, ah. Damn. <laughs> he disappeared right when I went for that. I was being greedy, though. Healer 
The <laughs> stun is so crazy. The stun is so crazy. Leave it to me. Okay, cool. That one was much cleaner. I did get hit a couple times at the end, but we actually killed him before it triggered the QTE. So sometimes when you get deep into the fight, they'll trigger a, a little quick time event where you have to press the button on the screen and that'll actually do damage to the boss for you. But I cleared him this time before that triggered. So I don't know if there's a time trigger on that or what, but yeah, I've seen that trigger a few times uh, on at least easy difficulty, obviously. So that's one thing. But yeah, you definitely want to make sure you clear it. This is my first time getting these. So maybe if you clear it faster to where it doesn't have to help you, basically, then you'll get these to drop. Maybe that's a thing or maybe that's just the first time I've got them in my few runs. But all in all, that was pretty much a look at gameplay for it and, and basically using the dark strategy because I didn't swap to my wind hunters. The wind strategy is pretty straightforward. It's literally, it's obviously the gimmicks matter. The, the stages are different. It's no different in terms of how you use the characters than you do on any other piece of content. Like if you've been using them on Vulcan, you know how to use the characters. So it's no different uh, in terms of that. But it does, again, depend on your Mirai. Mirai has to be massive, in my opinion, uh, to not on easy difficulty, but on hard. I think she needs to be massive. I think she needs to be A5 or or really close. Like A4 probably is the minimum. And then she can kind of blitz through it herself because Wu isn't doing much damage. Han Semi doesn't do much damage. Maybe there's a, a tech or something to let you use instead of Han Semi, someone else like just spitballing, maybe someone else like Dong Su or something. I don't know. But that being said, I hope that you all enjoyed. It would be a great help if, if you made it to the end of the video. Since you did, you made it here. You hit that thumbs up and you subscribe and you support. I'd greatly appreciate it through the links in the description. Thank you so much. Have an awesome day, everyone. And I will see you all. Next time, take it easy.